Okay, so here we are again in NetBeans, and now we're going to define uh, a radial gradient. We're going we're going to use this radial gradient to fill the the wheels of the car. Okay, so uh, again, the uh, suggestion and uh, the recommendation will be to set the proportional value as true, so the other values can be uh, given by uh, numbers or values between zero and one. Okay. So the main idea here with the radial gradient is that we want to create a circle. And as the other circles that we have uh, seen in this uh, tutorial, they have a center point. The center point will, will be specified here with the x, center x and center y. Okay, we want to set this value, set these values from 0 to 1. Okay. For example, um, I don't know if one the uh, the center of this radial gradient appears in the center point of the shape. We need to set this as the 50% of the x coordinate and 50% of the y coordinate. It will be that's five and that five for both. Okay, that's, that's the the idea. Okay, and also we need a radius. If this is our circle, we need a radius. And again, this radius will go from 0 to 1, from 0 to 100%. Okay. So this radius will determine uh, the extent of the gradient. If you want the last color to appear at the 50% of the, of the gradient, of the gradient, we need to set this radius at uh, 50%. If you want this color, the last color to appear at the 100% of the shape, we set this radius as 1. That's the idea. Okay. So, in this case, we have the first color, it has been mapped in the center. Okay. It appears in the center, and then the other colors start appearing. Okay. So, what happens when we want to, to map this color? Uh, in other, another place that is not the center, for example, this point here. Okay, so for that we use the focus distance. Okay, so the focus distance again is a value between zero and one. And for example, you may want to set this value um, at the I don't know eighty percent, and then you set uh, this value here that eight and Let's say that zero is here and one is here. So if one, if we want this focus distance at 80 percent, it will appear uh, here. The first color will start appearing this from starting from this point, and then will start uh, changing to the through the other colors. If you want, um, if we want it to appear uh, over this side of the of the gradient. The focus distance should be in a, neg a negative value. Okay, so it can be um, a negative value of 80%, and it will appear here. Okay, so the focus distance goes only for the x coordinate. But what happens if we want this uh, to move this focus uh, point to? Uh, to another uh, place, for example, uh, below this line, the center line, or above this line. That's what the that's when we use the focus angle. Okay, so let's say we have this focus uh, here at the eighty percent, and now starting from zero, we can say we that we want it at uh, ninety degrees from this. So it the, so the point will move over this line. So that's how we move it okay, by using different angles. If we wanted for example uh, at, uh, 45 degrees from the from this uh, point, the focus point will be here around this place. Okay. And the focus angle always goes from 0 to 360. Okay. 360 degrees. So that's the main idea of the gradient. Okay, we need to set a point 
where the first color is mapped and then the other color will start appearing. How? Well, it depends on the stops that we just, that we defined in the gradients. Okay? It is the same stops as the linear gradient. And also we have the cycle method and it works the same as the linear gradient. We can repeat, we can reflect, or we can say that we don't want it to, to appear more than once in the gradient. Okay, so now let's add this to the code. And we want to start with the class radial gradient. Okay, and the first value will be the angle, and we want an angle of uh, 270 degrees. Okay, so it will be 90 here at this point, and then 180, and then 270 here. Okay, this line, and then we need to set the focus distance. Okay, so we want this focus to be at the 80% of the shape of the radius. Okay, so my focus point will be this line here over this line here. Okay, at this level, because it's the 80%. 0, 100, top. 80% should be here, and this is 270%, 70 degrees, sorry, okay, so it will be here. And now we want to set the center of the circle, okay, we want this gradient to start at the center of the shape, so that's why we, we define uh, that 5 value for X and for the Y. And after this, okay, we set the radius, it will be at the 70% from the center to the to the circumference or the edge of the of the shape. Okay. Now we set the proportional value as true. The cycle method, we don't want it to cycle, so we set this value has no cycle. And now the color stops. We need three color stops. The first one will appear at the 50% of the shape of the gradient, sorry, and it will be a white color. The second stop will be at the seventy percent of the gradient and will be silver color. And the last stop will be at 90% of the gradient and will be a gray color okay so now, now let's fix the imports Okay, and let's add this uh, this gradient to the wheels. We first go with the wheel number one, 
set field and then we just add the radial gradient that we just created and the same for the second group okay so now we have all the okay all the nodes all the shapes in the root node here in this line now let's run the application to see how it looks okay as you can see we have added the radial radius and we can give this uh, format or this uh, field to the to the wheels so that's how we use a radial gradient in your effects you can see here we have the white color and it finishes at uh, this this uh, uh, this uh, color which is gray okay and it uh, has a silver color between these two colors okay so this is how we use radial gradients and gradients in JavaFX. Okay, so that's it for today guys and thanks for watching again. Don't miss the next video, it will be about the shape rotation. We're gonna apply some transformation to one of the shapes in the car. Okay, so please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Okay, have a good one.